everyone, Daniel Kaiser here in Montreal exploring the science of games. I've got Morel with me from THWACK, which is a consulting group, and today we are talking all about pain in video games, often portrayed as nothing more than just a blurry screen or a red screen. Um, but let's talk about it. What is actually happening in the body with pain, and what is, what is the video game industry getting right or wrong about it? In a video game industry, you get shot, and uh, usually they don't say anything about the pain. You just feel faint, you lose blood, etc. It's merely a warning sign to tell you that something bad happened, which is ironically the function of pain in real life as well. However, they don't go deeper than that. You know, you get shot, and all that happens is you see red dots on the screen, etc., which are things that could happen. These are normal physiological responses. You can, you know, feel faint, your blood pressure will drop, etc. if you get shot or if you get injured. But these are not necessarily painful responses that you see. Their vision doesn't immediately blur because something hurt. If you burn yourself, usually you jump, you get away, maybe you scream. <laughs> A lot of people curse. None of that uh, really happens. I mean, sometimes in uh, Uncharted, uh, he makes fun of it, and some people yeah, use humor as a blood. coping mechanism. That's my blood. Other than that, it's very superficial the way we see uh, pain in video games. And yet it's very disturbing because a lot of the injuries uh, that happen to us, we're not really scared of the injury, more so we're scared of the pain. For example, in Dead Space, there's a scene with the a needle. I don't know if you remember it, the syringe and the needle. And, you know, it's very disturbing because a, a needle, a syringe is going inside your eye. If, instead of showing that scene, they had told you, oh, accidentally you have an infection in your eye and now you're blind, people would say, ah, and they would continue playing. But that scene is just so disturbing because people imagine that that's going to be painful. That's why people react to it. So it depends. It depends on what you were doing when that happened. We have a lot of anecdotal uh, evidence showing that uh, some people are, you know, on horses and warring back in the day and they're really, you know, excited and they want to march on, but they're actually, they've lost the limb already, but they haven't even noticed it. So in a sense, it makes sense if we don't include it in the initial stage, I guess, of the injury, but definitely it has to come up later. Imagine if you fight a battle, you don't realize you're shot, they don't tell you you're playing an FPS, they don't tell you you got shot, there's no health bar. And then you're continuing walking, thinking everything is fine, and then you realize that things aren't fine. We got torn up out there. Then you realize that you have a lot of injuries. So, for example, that would be something more realistic in terms of uh, what soldiers, for example, would experience. Do it, cut it now! We gotta go. Is he dead? Do you think that gaming has a long way to go in terms of portraying pain properly? I definitely think so. So far, usually we see it either in torture scenes or uh, in very little doses. They put just to add that element of, you know, disturbing you a little bit. I think uh, very soon they're going to realize that there's a whole field that they can cover with pain. Uh, with very interesting gameplay dynamic implications. So definitely that's something uh, to look more into. Well, thanks so much for your information. It's been anything but painful. We appreciate it very much. And for the latest on science of games, you can head online to GameTrailers.com.